Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another episode of Miss Universe 2020 Contestants Profile Review and Analysis. So Malta has officially crowned the representative for the upcoming edition of the Miss Universe pageant and it is no other than Anthea Zamit. She's 26 years old and is a law student. And before we proceed, don't forget to follow her on her Instagram account which is at Anthea Zamit 24 to follow her journey in Miss Universe. It's posted somewhere on the screen. And don't forget to follow me as well on my Instagram account at I am Alvin Cibetero to get more pageant updates and of course don't forget to hit that subscribe button at the bottom to follow and get more pageant updates here on YouTube as well. Now, Anthea is actually a very familiar name to many of us who's been following pageants because she represented her country in both Miss World 2016 and Miss Supranational 2017. But sadly, she did not qualify in both of these pageants. However, we cannot just judge her future participation based on how she did on her previous participations because there's a three-year gap compared to her last competition. So imagine the preparation and training she could have done in those years. And also, we have already witnessed many candidates who did not made it in their previous international pageants that made it in Miss Universe once they com when they competed. I mean, Marta Magdalena Sepien did not make it in Miss International. Successful in Miss Universe. I mean, Curaçao, that time in 2018, did Akisha Albert did not make it in Miss Earth successful in Miss Universe. So that's just a motivation for those ladies who are not successful in those previous pageants but to work very hard, get the Miss Universe title, and did it successfully. And also, as what other people say, it is hard to beat a person who never gives up. So I really commend her for that, for working hard and not giving up to finally reach the ultimate goal in pageantry and that is Miss Universe. Now let's go to her national pageant performances. Starting with the swimsuit competition, she actually got a beautiful and great figure and I actually like her even more compared to her Miss World participation because she's got a very likable personality and charming smile. I also love how they are trying to adapt with Miss Universe by adding those butterfly caves. I love that. That was very beautiful. But my dear Anthea, let me be honest. The walk needs to have more impact. I would love to see a stronger version of it. I mean, her confidence is there, no question, but I want to be wowed by her walk and I, I honestly didn't see that in that swimsuit performance but I am very sure and positive that you can work on it I mean Teresa Rullo last year is a strong performer when it comes to stage and I'm pretty sure she can help you with that or whoever will train you for your participation for the evening gown I am amazed I wasn't really a huge fan of the walk once again because I find it a bit stiff and boring but when it comes to her overall look, I loved it. I actually like the gown on her and I like the yellow gown. It helps her pop out and stand out. So for my areas of improvement, it would be, it would be more on polishing and training on the walk on both evening gown and swimsuit. And for the gown choice, Although I love how she looks in that gown, I would also love to see a gown for her that would make her look taller even from afar because I have to say there are some moments when the cameras are moving and she's she's wearing that evening gown. There are some angles where she looked a bit shorter because of the gown that she chose. Although it looked beautiful but I would love to see a gown that would make her a bit taller in a way based on the look but beauty wise she was beautiful that night and i can really attest at how much she improved compared to her previous participations and i was able to watch her final question as well and boy she nailed that question i was able to get everything i needed to hear from her answer and i believe that 
was the real highlight of her performance and that night and i am sure that was also the moment that sealed her victory winning the chance to represent malta in miss universe and of course that miss universe malta crown i mean that was a really really beautiful answer quite long but beautiful and strong overall I believe Malta may not get the result that they wanted in Miss Universe, especially in 2017 and 18, but it is amazing to see them consistently sending strong candidates like Francesca Mifsud, Teresa Rullo, and now with Anthea Zamit, whom I think has huge potentials if trained and prepared properly. I think Malta could potentially earn the placement that they are longing to get. As for Antea, it all depends on how she prepares for this pageant and I'm really hoping she'll go all out. I mean, she has the experience and I hope that will help her a lot for this Miss Universe pageant. And for now, what we can do is we'll just have to follow her journey and we'll be commenting all the way throughout the pageant. Having said that, Malta is in the European region and here's, I mean, here's my current ranking for that group. Number 5, Croatia. For Portugal, I'll put Malta at number 3 for now. Number 2 is France, but my number 1 for the European region as of the moment is Poland, Magdalena Kasiborska. If you wanted to check my reviews of the other candidates or the other candidates from other regions, all of them are already available on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check them and the reasons why they are at this rank, so you can just watch my individual reviews of these contestants. So what do you think of Malta this year? Do you think she might give Malta's first placement in Miss Universe? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.